Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again. In our last video, we talked about resizing Divi columns and we showed you how easy that was. Well, the next, you might call it part two with Divi columns, is how to reorder those columns. So this is gonna be important on tablet and mobile. So a lot of times you might have an image on one side and a headline on another. And when you go to mobile, you want it to stack the right way, but by default, it's gonna stack you know, from left to right, you know, one, two, three, four, in that sort of order. But it is so easy to change that. And I'm going to show you how. And do not be afraid if we say the word CSS because it's only going to be one line. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be showing you here with an example of I uh, have a text module on the left on desktop. And then on the right, I have an image module. So what I'm thinking is, you know, on mobile, what the default order here is that the headline is going to be on top, image on the bottom. Well, what if I would rather have this image on top? Because it stacks from left to right. So, you know, when I switch here to mobile or tablet, the headline's on top. Well, I want, I want this switched. How would I do that? Well, it's actually extremely easy just have to pay attention to a couple specifics but it's going to be really easy even if you're a beginner don't worry you're gonna you're gonna get this really well all right so go over here to your green column and we're gonna go into the settings go over here to the third tab the advanced tab and go to custom CSS and look for main element and you're going to type two lines display colon flex semicolon display flex okay and then the next line is flex dash wrap colon wrap all right so there's two lines display flex and flex wrap wrap that's in the column, main settings, custom CSS, all right, and the main element. Now go back here to content. Now we actually have to modify each of these columns. So right now this column is number one, and this column is number two. And that's how they'll stack on mobile. It'll be, you know, the text on top of the image. But we want to switch that around. All right, so go into the first column. Go to the Advanced tab, Custom CSS, and look for Main Element. That's where we're going to be writing one line of code. Very, very simple. Okay, so now we don't want to swap these on desktop because we could easily do that with our other settings. You know, now that you can rearrange columns, you know, we could go like this and hey, you know, we've swapped them. So obviously, you know we're not worried about desktop so much we can control that easier but for mobile we want to be able to control it so with that being said let's enable responsive views here okay this brings up CSS that would apply for desktop tablet or phone so these are media queries alright so we can go over here to just tablet or we can go to just phone and then there we can see how it's stacking okay so what we want to do, we're in column one right now. We're in the text, all right? So let's go and write one word, order, and say two. Okay? Order two. All right, now let's go back to our other column. See, we're switching out the column from one to two and two to one. All right. So again in here, enable the responsive view because these you know, are the media queries that we're targeting. So we're targeting just for phone. All right, and since this is column two, we wanna make it column one. So we say order one. Now, unfortunately, it does not update here in the builder, but you know, trust me, it does work. Uh, it works great and you can do this with three or four columns, you know, whatever column number you have. So here's an example. 
um, the, the images on top. And then, of course, you want to play around with uh, some, you know, your margin and spacing, things like that, of course. But there it is. So if we stretch this back out, let's see. So we've done it for um, uh, that. We've done it just for mobile. So you can see on desktop, the image is on the right, text is on the left. So it should stack that way, but we've made it stack with the image on top, text on the bottom. All right, so feel free to do this with more than two columns. You could have three columns, you could have four, and you just change the order. It gets a little hard to keep track, but you can do it. You know, say order one, order two, order three, order four, and you can control that very, very easily using that system. All right, so you can see how how effective and how valuable that type of thing is especially now you can take this and use our other tutorial and just kind of you know have control over your Divi columns and be sure to keep an eye out here we're going to be releasing a full course on making Divi responsive so that's coming up very soon here on YouTube and on the blog it's going to be a full course it's going to probably be a couple hours long and we're just going to go through every single thing to make Divi responsive. It's going to be a little more for beginners, but also for intermediate users as well. And there's going to just be just incredible amount of value. And we're going to be using some of these tricks that we've learned in the last couple of videos here. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you there and be sure to subscribe so you can get that video and many more like it. All right. We'll see you then.